Okay, so first of all, what is chatbot? Chatbots are the new tools which are designed to simplify the interaction between humans and computers. So one self-learning chatbot we are going to make using Python. So let's get started. First of all, we are installing NLTK. NLTK is Natural Language Toolkit. It is a leading platform for building Python programs to work with human language data. It provides easy to use interfaces to a 50 lexical resources such as WordNet and text processing libraries for classification, tokenization, stemming, tagging, parsing, and semantic reasoning. Newspaper 3K is an amazing Python library for extracting and curating articles. After installing NLTK and Newspaper 3K, we would import certain packages like random, string, numpy, warning, and uh, sklearns tfidf vectorizer. It aims to convert collection of raw documents to matrix of tfidf features and cosine similarities. And we would also download the uh, packages like uh, punct and wordnet. Scrolling down, this is where your article gets downloaded. See, this is the URL of Wikipedia that I'm using light. It can be anything. It can be the chronic disease, coronavirus. It can be any article. So here the article gets downloaded. It would parse and it would process into corpus. And this is what the article is. You can see. Now, we need to tokenize it. So after tokenization, uh, for tokenization, we would uh, use this send tokenize method and after tokenization it would be like this but the problem is it has many punctuations so we need to remove punctuations and for that we would create a dictionary remove punk dictionary uh, in this we would store all the punctuations and then here we would make sure all the words are in lowercase and all the punctuations are removed you can see this light exists in tiny but there are no punctuations. Okay, so in this method, response, uh, this is the user response, it's the input that I'll be giving. Here it would make sure that it's in lowercase. After converting into set of matrix, it would, uh, what my robot will do is, it would find a set of similar words. If it couldn't find such words, then it would assign score as zero. And if the score is zero, it would print, sorry, I don't understand. Else it would print the sentences. Now in this, you can say there are two lists, reading input and greeting response. Reading input is this uh, set of uh, strings that I'm going to give it as an input. So if I give hi, my robo would print anything from greeting response. Howdy, hey there, hi, hello, anything. For that, we are using random.choice method. Okay, so let's understand this. When first we'll initialize flag as true, and we'll, we'll print this hello, this is Mad Max, I can answer your queries, we'll get to light, and if you want to exit, type bye. While the flag is true, I'll give input, I myself is cherry, and if the input is anything other than bye, we will enter into the next if statement. If it's thanks or thank you, the flag would be false and it would print anytime and the execution stops. What if it's a greeting? Then it would print any random choice from greeting.response. And if it's not a greeting, if it's a question that I'm asking, it would print the answer. What if type what if I type by? Then it would print see you later and the program starts stops okay so let's see the execution see it's already executing and it prints hello this is Mad Max, and i can answer your queries related to life so i'm cherry and if i type hello and it prints hello suppose i type hi it prints hi okay so now I'll ask questions. So, hey Mad Max, what are photons? 
Ooh, light exists in tiny energy packets called photons. Okay. Um, hey, Mad Max, what is study of light? Optics. Very cool. Um, what? Forms of analog info, light and color. Okay, so this is how it answers. And now to stop execution, I'll type by. Yeah, see you later. Thank you. The code is available in GitHub. You can refer the link in the description box. Thank you.